Let's, <coughs> let's start with some arithmetic operations in our this is considered as our lesson one okay so this is the R studio we open the R studio and then let's get started so if you want to do some comments let's we start with a hash and then let's start with some thematic operations okay so let's start creating some variables so we can do x to 20 and now if you see on the right side the variable is created it has a x and with a value of y a value of 20 and here it also shows on the console whatever the commands i'm running so basically what i did here i just select this and press Control enter we can also do directly here as well but the beauty of here in this we can save as as a file and then go back and forth rather than just typing here where we can lose our work we can still go back but it's more convenient okay so we, which we can discuss more later on so let's focus our attention on creating and working on arithmetic operations we can also assign variables by doing like this as equals to 10 and it will also create variables but i won't suggest doing that because in our world that's not standard and when you share your work it doesn't look professional and so i suggest using this okay so now we have our two variables we can let's sum them x plus y and also let's store its result to some other variable so which is 30 it shows 30 here but if you want to see the result for example you can just type this result and it shows also here at the bottom the result now let's do some multiplication x we have a multiplication sign so it shows 200 what about x divide x by y it shows 2 then we have what about square root of x q r t you see this let's uh, do x and also if you are not very if you're not sure how the function or what how many parameter it is so for this one it's quite easy but just just put the mouse or just put the the cursor on it and press f1 and it goes right here you see the help option comes up here we'll see the examples and lot, good lot of good tutorials other option is to come up with help is just type this URT with a question mark and then again it shows the help option here but i suggest uh, i like the other depend upon whatever you are doing anyway so the result of x square x was 4.47 okay so what about if you want to do square root of let's do exponential so what about if x exponential 3 so what it will be so it's 8000 wow so these are the thing mostly we will do so also we'll use a lot again if you want to see what is so just press log also it gives you the option we can do log 10 log 2 logical okay i want to do log log of what log of let's say x let's try y we keep using x so it's called log of y is this 2.30 so that's pretty much let me show you absolute so if we have let's another variable z 
value is minus 100. So z is when minus 100. And if you want to see the absolute, the function is ab as absolute, I believe. Yeah, so now it shows 100. So let me, so this is quite the arithmetic operations we going to use in R. Rest R is straightforward. It's basically uh, static is a package where everything is there. A lot of libraries are there. And it's just give a, a very powerful tool. Let's, let's put it this way to, to do and analyze the data set. Here we see lots of, we can also do search from here. Go again, this is under the help, we are help. And if you are here, let's say we want to do LM. LM is for log linear regression model. One of the, which we, which we're going to use in one of the next lessons. So here you see what are the option it has, what arguments, it takes the details so it's quite powerful to do everything in r and it's very simple and a lot of references as well what we can do okay so that's it pretty much for this video thanks for watching bye